Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Game Week 11 where I show you my plans. But before we do that, let's see who did well in Game Week 10. Top scorer in our mini league for Game Week 10 was Christian Ikerchuku with Manu International getting 78 points. And I tried saying that name many times, so I hope I got somewhere close at least. That was managed with Solanke 16, Aina 15, Johnson 8, Gvardio and Ivanilson 7, Flecken 4, Captain Harland 4. And on the bench, Robinson for 6 points. But it was a low scoring week, so that was a very good score. And top of our league is Louis Philippe with Red 74. That was with 55 points. That was with Captain Salah 18, Gvardio 7, Wood 7, Vardy 5. And on the bench, which doesn't help, Robinson for 6. As for me, I'm all the way down in 410th. I got 50 points. And I captain Salah 18 and points elsewhere. But the one that made my week, which means I didn't care about anything else, was Ramsdale got 9 points. He was the highest scoring keeper. And it's the first time I've played him, even though I've had him a few weeks. And what makes it all the more sweeter is I had him as the featured player on my thumbnail for what I was going to do with my team. So I was very pleased that he was the top keeper. And add points on the bench. Rogers 9, Bednarek 5, but I don't care because of Ramsdale. So 50 points overall, but I did take a 12-point hit because I wanted to make some changes to my team. So my game week rank before the deduction was inside the 2 million, but after the reduction, I actually got a red arrow, but it was a small red arrow. At the start of the game week, I was outside 4 million and ended up within the 3.5 million rank. So I'm actually very pleased with that. So no complaints from me. I'm seven points from three million and if I can be within the top three million by the end of game week 12, that's another two game weeks yet, then I'd be perfectly content with that. I'm currently 211 from top spot so if I can outscore the leader by eight points every week between now and the end of the season, I can still win the whole thing. Thank you very much to all of you who watch these videos and subscribe, leave comments, like etc. It is appreciated. So there's a website I like to look at pretty much every day actually FPL game week but I'm on there a lot of the weekend and they have a content creators league and I like to watch lots of content so I like to see who's doing well FPL tips is currently the top content creator with 660 three points behind that is James and then all the way down in sixth is FPL Harry I say all the way down in sixth. that's still a long way ahead of me I'm all the way down in 65th at the moment on the same score as FPL Salah and we're both nine points behind Yelena. It's perfectly good to watch. Now I've got options regarding transfers this week. The first one, and what my intention was originally, simply to roll. Just because I don't need to do anything. And I'm sure I'll be making transfers in game week 12. Where the fixtures change for like Arsenal, Chelsea, Brighton. It's like I'm going to want to bring some players in. So I am considering rolling. However, I do have Van der Ven who's injured, but he's likely to be back in game week 12 and he's only bench fodder anyway. Now I could bring in Hall to save 0.3 million, or I could bring in a 4 million defender, for example O'Shea from Ipswich, and save 0.6 million. Because I'm not into having several defenders and keep switching them around. I want a bench, that is my bench, I want a starting 11 and that's my starting 11. So ultimately, I do intend to downgrade him, but I'm not sure I want to do that just yet. Another option is Palmer's currently injured or flagged as being injured. If we find out he's out and he's going to be out for a few weeks likely, then there's a reasonable chance I'm going to switch him for Saka because I'll probably want Saka anyway. But if he's only out for one or two game weeks, then I may switch him in for Fernandez. But I'm really not sure. Even if we find out he's probably out, I may keep him. So what I'm going to do, I want to roll, but I may cave in and not doing a transfer. But hey, who knows? So my expected lineup for game week 11 is I've got Salah at home to Aston Villa. He's going to wear the old mule hat with his mate Trent in defence. And I've got Haaland with the vice away to Brighton with his mate Lewis in defence. But we don't know Lewis is going to start. And if he does, maybe he'll come off early. So that's the first of my players that may not even play. 
Then I've got Palmer, who may not play, home to Arsenal. Eight Nori at home to Southampton. Currently Fabianski at home to Everton, but I may play my super keeper instead. I've got Embremer at home to Bournemouth. I've got Wood at home to Newcastle. And I've got Smith Rowe and Raoul away to Palace. So my bench is Ramsdale, but I may play him instead. And I may leave that till Saturday before I decide for sure. Then I've got Rogers away to Liverpool. If Palmer didn't play and Rogers came in, I don't mind that too much. Van der Ven, who of course isn't playing. And then Badenrak away to Wolves. So that's it. I'm hopeful of a tiny green arrow, but I may get a small red arrow, but we'll see. As for the background picture, Marie Curie, today's her birthday. Albeit she was born 157 years ago. As you probably know, she was a Polish-French scientist and she's the only person ever, apparently, to win a Nobel Prize in two different sciences. That was one for physics and one for chemistry. She did a lot of work with radiation, above other things, radioactivity, and here she's holding a radioactive football. It shrunk a little bit, I guess that's the radiation. And there we have it. That's what happened in Game Week 10 and my current plans for Game Week 11. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a fun Game Week 11. Bye.